They say I'm different. I'm not Mr. I'm Madam. How different am I really? This metaphor pans back mythical galores to that of Eve and Adam. That delicious forbidden fruit. Delicious cuz forbidden. That sinful bite, that sinful taste to truth would lead to imprisonment in her own garden. In another garden lies the great Circe, my eccentric grandma with her pharmacy, her cauldron and blood-veined roots, tendrils of ambrosia and gift of Odysseus's youth. Drugs and molly, oh what a great folly, she ain't a pharmacist, she's just a witch. And we all know what happens to witches. Which, what, how, why? Fundamental units of a philosopher's high. My mother Hypatia's obsession. Like her, I do not have a Y chromosome. And when you do not have a Y chromosome, you do not ask why. You just nod. My big sister Lovelace, Byron's alchemical daughter, her poetry woven as math, her rhythm danced as algorithm, her tutor Morgan, oh that esteemed Morgan, did not think that her mind and physical application could carry the burden in the meek meadow of a woman's body. These men of science around me break through a dichotomy of superstition and reason. But I, I have a womb. I exist only in the dichotomy of a male's gaze. I can either be Persian Marie or Maria of Magdalena. I am neither. I am Marie Skladarska Curie, one third of the Furies. I have one lab coat dark that I wear to my laboratory, one shot to a seat in the room of scientific history. I make a mark twice, but only as my husband's wife. I sit here in Solve to eat his urk. Hey there, Einstein. Hey there, Rutherford. I sit here in Solve to each his urk. They think I am different. And maybe they are right. They won't have to die in the pyre of the power that they ignite. I rest in radiance alight. Like that physicist from Salem.